Hey guys, Void here, and welcome to the channel. This is the 12th map to arrive on console mod hub. Uh, it's Mustang Valley Ranch. It's made by something on my shoe too. I think a lot of people call him Shoe Two on the forums. Um, he is the same author who made Outback, American Outback. So it's very similar, uh, you know, American ranchy type feel. Um, I mean, just look at the size of those fields. I mean, obviously, there's not many of them because of the size of them. Um, I think it's, I think he's used the entire space available that's available to the modders to make these maps. I think he's used the entire space. I don't think there's any space left available. Um, I think out of fields one, two, and four, which are the only fields we don't own, I think I worked out to be about 220 ish hectares obviously I can't add fields five and three because we already own them so I don't know how we can figure that out but if you got to the fields you can click on it and then when you go to take a contract or buy it it tells you how big the field is so I kind of worked it out like that so there's probably going to be about 300 hectares something like that like farmable land uh, in total um, it's just it's just massive it's what everybody wants you know I thought um, Westbridge Hills was big, but you know these are just you know ridiculously big. You're going to need a small army to uh, farm these fields. Otherwise, you're going to be farming one field for about six hours on your own. Uh, but anyway, we're going to take a look around the immediate area. This is um, you know the, like the farmyard as such. Got very like old, dusty feel. You know, nothing's in you know new or pristine condition. Everything looks like it's been here for a hundred years, been kept within the family. You know we've got shelters that are missing roof pieces and things like that. So this is the, like the farmyard as such. Like I said, um, that's an interesting. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean if you look at the map, you can see that. You know, if we look between fields one and two, you can see that there is a ridiculously small amount of space available for shops and sell points and things like that. I think he really has used as much space uh, available to him for, for the fields and things. I was quite surprised to see it land on the mod hub today because I do know it, there was a few things he had to fix for the console version. Um... I do know it went back into to be retested, but I think they only tested what needed testing rather than retest the entire map again. Uh, I do know gold nuggets are on the map. That is 100% confirmed. Um, I don't know their locations as of yet. So, but this, as you can see, we've got a lot of storage, like hangars. In the yard area so this would be rather than farm buildings you've got kind of like these hangars where you you can use either for grain um, your root crops or even vehicles so let's have a quick look over this hill and then we'll take a look at all the important stuff wow I don't know what that'll be for maybe for some sort of water supply for the animals maybe because it's not a uh, a log pond this is the chicken area. That's quite an impressive size. And what have we got here? Ah, hello. Gold nugget right by the side of the road. Oh, there you go. There's proof, guys. Gold nuggets. Uh, so we got the BGA right here behind the yard. So the BGA is on here. So I don't know if you're better to do it via grass, but you'll probably do it, you know, by corn or something. Uh, let's take a look. So we got a sawmill. Oh, another gold nugget. So, yeah, we got log, cell point, we got the pond, by the looks of it. That's a good sized pond as well, it looks nice. Looks quite nice, nice location. Got some trees here, that's. It looks like some trees down there, some trees over there. So, we've got trees quite close to the sawmill, which is, you know, nice. They look, you know, they look nice as well. Nice area, don't look, you know, too out of place. Okay, moving on. Spinnery for the sheep. Yeah, and as you can see, we got a couple of gold nuggets again kicking about. 
Uh, cash point there if you need any cash. Nice big ball of wool on the top there or yarn or whatever you want to call it. Uh, old red barn. So this is going to be a bale cell point I'm guessing. Yeah. Where are we on the map? We're at the top left as such. So as you can see, there's you know not a lot of room in between the fields, but where there is space, he's he's added um, you know all of these cell points and things like that. Looks nice. Moving on. Valley grains. So this looks nice. It looks quite big. You know, you wouldn't think there would be this much room to squeeze things like this in here. But there is. And it looks nice. Where are we? We're squeezed in just underneath the shop. Uh, BGA bunker. Okay. That looks like a different design of uh, BGA... Uh, Oh, hello. Look at this. This is... I've never seen a design like this before. Maybe we can pour it into this whole area, which would be nice, because that would... This would be one of the biggest, um, like, BGA bins we've seen. Or can you only pour it in this end? But it... There's a, um, mark all the way around it, so I'm assuming you can pour it into the whole thing, which will be the largest bin to date on the console, because normally they use the big red ones. Uh, let's have a look. What else we got? Is that the last thing? Yeah. The diner. Oh, chicken cell point at the diner. Nice design. Right next to the ginormous field. You're going to need some lunch if you've been working these fields, I tell you. So anyway, just... Uh, let's go and visit the, the largest field on the map. I mean, I ain't even going to run just the width of this, never mind about the length of it, it's crazily big. As you can see there, it says field 4, area 104.06 hectares, value is 8.4 million. But I'm very surprised by the, like, the earnings, like the wages that you can earn by just doing contract missions. I mean, only 430,000. I mean, that field's massive. I mean, that harvesting job, you'd be there for about four hours. And you were gonna, you're only going to earn 430000 So I think that's a bit under underpaid, to be honest. <laughs> um, you know, a, a small increase would be nice. Okay. Ah, look at that. Big Bud himself up there. Now that's going to be some sort of clue or something or, you know, use the big buds. This is, you know, probably exactly what this map is for. Ah, uh, yes, I, I purchased this as well because um, it's... So we can have a little drive in a minute. We're going to take a look at the animal areas. And then we'll go for a, a drive. So let's have a look at the pigs. So you've got pig enclosure, you know, it's not your standard design. It's uh, going to be his own design. Large area. Uh, let's have a look at another one. Gas stations, cow pasture. This might be standard. But again, you know, looks nice. Everything fits in. Nothing looks out of place. Got your slurry, your manure, got your silage bunker there. Looks good. And that's probably the greenest grass on the entire map. Because every bit of grass on the map is probably dead or brown. Sheep. Oh, gold nugget. We found four just looking around. So I don't think they're going to be too difficult to find. You know, there's another one there. So this is your sheep area. Good size again. Everything's, you know, custom designs, custom appearances. Um, have I missed anything? Actually, I, I have. Animal dealers. So. Looks, I think it's slightly custom because there's no giant bull on the roof. 
but last time on American Outback he did remove it and put it on the side of the road so I don't know if he's done that on this hello hello I'll have a look at those in a minute can't see it anywhere but yeah look at this got all the animals kicking around outside which is really nice no no sound effects and no movements but movement you know I kind of expect because you know it's console things like that you don't get on console because it's I think it's scripted or it's just you know a little bit too much for the consoles but sound effects would have been really really nice oh I got some little calves the sound effects would have been really really nice it's a shame kind of you know I think you need one with the other you know you can't have one without the other you've got to have sound effects if you've put all the animals in but apart from that you know I think it's really nice touch that they've been added uh, where are we yeah we're like squeezed in <laughs> between fields one and two so I think we covered pretty much all the important stuff you know it's all there all the animals are there you know you've got the BGA I've seen the chicken coop uh, let's go for a quick drive uh, let's quickly check out the starting equipment as well. So we've got the Case Puma, the Axle Flow 7130, only with a 35 foot head as well, which is quite surprising. You know, with the map being so large, you know, why have they, why have they started us off with such small equipment? Because, I mean, obviously the map is designed to use, you know, some of the, well, if not the biggest equipment the game can provide. I think even that is going to be you know, effort to, to, to farm the fields. You know, if you're using anything smaller than that, you know, we're talking ridiculous amount of effort and time. So anyway, let's take a quick drive. Uh, take a look at the scenery. I think we'll go straight up and we'll go right to, you know, over by field four. And then we'll just come down. We're not going to go down every road, up and down, up and down. It's just to get a quick uh, feel for the environment as well rather than having to skip about a patch of land there. What is that? Just an empty patch of land. I don't know if you can use it. Oh, I'm opening doors. Oh, indicators do work on this. I did wonder. Um, so, yeah. Environment looks good. You know, it's very similar feel to American Outback. So, if you like that map, you're definitely going to like this map. Um, you know, definitely a good map for Big Bud. Um, and, um, you know, if you thought Westbridge Hills was big, then this is ridiculously big. There's another water source there. This is cr stupidly big. It's just crazy. But um, having said that, you know, I do wonder... You know, could you possibly get bored of, you know, farming on this map? Could you get bored quickly? Because, I mean, you're going to be there for hours and hours and hours farming one field. I mean, at first it's going to be fun, sure. Because, you know, you're going to have some massive equipment with the big bud. But, you know, after a few hours, are you going to get bored? Because at least with, you know, some of the maps with small to medium fields, you know, there's a lot of different fields, a lot of different environments to work. You're in different areas of the map. But with this, you're just in, you know, same place, you know, just up and down, up and down, you know. It's going to be, um, I'm assuming it'll be, you know, fairly good for the workers as well because, you know, the fields look very easy for a worker to navigate. So that's an, another plus. But there's definitely going to be a lot of people out there that are going to like this map, you know, regardless. Um, I'm not sure if I will farm it myself. I may have a go on it on multiplayer. Maybe I may join someone else's uh, farm and have a go. But uh, but in, you know I don't know if I'm going to put loads of effort into to create a farm on this map myself. I have created a farm on Westbridge Hills because I mean those fields are pretty big even for the big bud. Um, you know the big bud uh, does fit in nicely on Westbridge Hills. But uh, but these fields are definitely worth a go. I mean that's field five. I mean that's that's you know it's one of the fields you start off with, and that's a fairly big field. You know that would be classed as a large field on any, any other map. So you know field four is just like you know I mean that's like what that's like half of half to three quarters of Sandy Bay or something. You know it's just crazy. It you know that field would is like a black hole. It would swallow any other map 
within within field four you could build another map inside field four it's that big <laughs> it's uh it's crazy but yeah you know everything looks good you know you know top marks you know to uh shoe two well done you know second map he's got on uh, console mod hub um, you know he's definitely reaching out to um, you know fans that want you know these sort of maps with big fields and you know the the American ranches and stuff like that so you know fair play to him um, but uh, but yeah I think that's it for now guys um, obviously you know because it's majority fields there isn't a lot to cover in terms of buildings and things like that I've tried to cover as much as I can I think we covered everything um, just quickly actually the information that's available to us on the mod hub is that its file size is 331.00 megabytes it's version 1 it released today on the console the 18th of May uh, and it's available for PC Mac PS4 and Xbox one uh, I think it has been available on PC for uh, a short amount of time while they were testing getting things like that but obviously with trying to get things on the console there is you know, obviously more restrictions and things like that uh, and it has already been rejected once before before now I think it was once uh, it may have been twice but I'm sure it was only once because there was a few things he needed to fix and he got them done fairly quickly so yeah you know hats off to him anyway guys all the necessary information will be in the description below as always uh, if you found this video helpful thumbs up greatly appreciated and same as always, take care of yourselves and bye for now.